Hi, this is Robert Schwartz, Curriculum Supervisor for Mathematics, and in this video, I want to tell you about my favorite tool for adding and subtracting, the open number line. To use an open number line, start with a number line, and then just remove all the numbers and tick marks, leaving a number line that is completely empty or open. And when presented with an addition problem like 42 plus 26, start by marking 42 the first number anywhere on the open number line. Knowing that I need to add 26, I then take large jumps that I can do mentally in my head. I know that 42 plus 20 is 62, and then I know 62 plus 6 is 68, and very quickly I can figure out that 42 plus 26 is 68. And it works for larger numbers as well. For 718 plus 143, I'm going to start at 718. I'm going to jump by 100 to get to 818. I'm going to jump by 40 to get to 858. And all I have left is a jump of 3. And 858 plus 3, 859, 860. 861. So 718 plus 143 is 861. And open number lines work just as great for subtraction. I'm going to start with 82 and mark that on a number line. And notice I left a lot of room on the left hand side because when you subtract you're going left, you're going in that direction. And I'm going to subtract 21. I'm going to start by subtracting a big jump. I'm going to subtract 20 first and get me to 62. And then I have one more number to subtract a small jump there, gets me to 61. 82 minus 21 is 61. And for problems where I need to regroup, like 126 minus 34, I can make a jump of 20 to go back, because I know in my head how to take away 20 from 126, that's just 106. Then I'm gonna take another jump of 10 Gets me to 96, that's 30 altogether. And then just a smaller jump of 4 gets me back to 92. So 126 minus 34 is 92. The key to an open number line, and using one successfully, is that all you need to think about is a number line and where numbers exist moving, if you're moving to the right, if you're adding, if you're moving to the left, if you're subtraction, and it'll keep you from needing and memorizing all sorts of rules for borrowing and regrouping and crossing this out and making this a 10 and making this a 9. But if we just use our intuition and what we know about where numbers are on a number line, it makes adding and subtracting much, much easier and much, much more uh, efficient. Go ahead and try a few on your own. Good luck.